Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Trancher Dan here, and uh, look what I have. It's another newspaper uh, from the Daily Star. Today's date is Monday, October the 21st, 2013. And it's another spider story, which I thought I would share with you. Because uh, a lot of people have uh, sent messages and said they enjoy these, and have said to me to keep doing more, so long as they keep making the stories. And um, obviously, yeah, why not? I quite enjoy getting my opinion on this. Hopefully, other people agree with me on this. Uh, you know, but whatever. So uh, yeah, there's a picture of obviously today's uh, front page of the Daily Star, the worst paper in the UK. Um, and I like to say I do not buy this paper. I do not support them. This was given to me uh, by someone at work. Um, and it's only a small uh, column down here. Um, today it's not actually about false widows. It's about <gasps> latrodectus which, uh, for those of you who don't know, Lactrodectus is the Black Widow Spider. Uh, within the Lactrodectus well, Lactrodectus genus, uh, there are three types of Black Widow, which are from Western, Northern and Eastern uh, you know, states. So, um, yeah, I'd like to say as well, uh, just to, before I start reading uh, what's in here, give you some information, um, Black Widow bites are supposedly about 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. Um, however, if you were to get bit by one, apart from the tiny little prick that you would feel, um, obviously as its fangs penetrate your skin and start injecting you with venom, um, if you were to not get it treated, there is, I mean, if it like pumped in all the venom in its body into you in the right place and got into like, you know, a vein or whatever, um, and you got bit and thought, oh, I'm not gonna do anything with that, you've still only got a 5% chance of dying if you don't get it treated. Now you might say, we well, can still die. Yes, you can still die, but 5% is a very, very small number, if you think about it. Um, and actually, if you were to go to the hospital, uh, to A&E, and say, oh, I've been bitten by a um, the it would look very similar to a uh, false widow, you know, red and swelling and sore. Um, however, um, medical staff will not really treat it as such. What they will do is they will give you um, antibiotics that will not attack, you know, will not sort out the venom or the bite as, as such. It will sort out the symptoms. Um, so, say, you know, the pain and the cramp from the venom in your body. Um, it will just kind of like push it to the side, so you're not feeling it as much, and that's it. And they'll say, take these, go home, and in four to five days you should be fine. Um, and that's what they will do. And the reason for this is because the antivenom that they, uh, in really serious cases, they do have to give you an antivenom. Um, the antivenom can actually be more dangerous for you if you, um, you know, it's more dangerous than the actual venom itself. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully this will put you at rest. Don't think, I oh, you know, if I get bit by a widow, I'm gonna fall to the floor in like two minutes and die. It's not, you get bit, like I said, you go to hospital, they'll give you some antibiotics for the pain, and that's pretty much it. You know, you've got a very, very small chance of dying. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just, I'll just get that out of the way. Um, as usual guys, I, I believe they uh, use the word poisonous in this. Poison and venom, you know the difference between them by now. Hopefully I'm educating some of you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just start reading about the Lactrodectus and uh, let's see what kind of bullshit they managed to spew this time, shall we? Okay then. So, there's a picture of a Latrodectus here, and it says US Killer Spiders Invasion. Deadly Black Widow spiders are now invading Britain from the US. Thousands are flooding into the country and experts warned last night it's only a matter of time before they kill. So who are these experts? Because uh, I'm not an expert and I know lots of my friends in the tea hobby are not experts, but not one of us would ever say, yeah, they're going to kill you. You know, no one in the hobby would ever say that. Uh, any kind of uh, tarantula or spider keeper or enthusiast or you know entomologist or anything like that would not say anything like that. In fact, we would say the complete opposite and try and reassure you that these spiders are not like what the media says. Um, and the reason I'm doing this, um, this isn't really a bad story. Uh, there's no bite report yet, but it's the Daily Star. Um, I predict if I get this up tonight. Maybe tomorrow or in the week there'll be a story about a black widow uh, biting someone and I can be like, I told you. 
but hopefully you'll see this video and look at it and go, that's complete bullshit. Um, that's what I'm going to try and make you think. Any stories that the, especially this paper, this one here, any stories that these uh, say, complete rubbish. So uh, yeah, these experts apparently said that it's any amount of time before they kill, which no tarantula or spider or entomology person would ever say that. You know, they'd say, same as I would say, if you see one, like I said, I've got two widows, I've got one up here and one that's moved, actually moved under the stairs over there. Uh, if you leave them alone, they won't bother you at all, basically. So, yeah. So, um, I took out the naughty booby page. <laughs> um, and then here's the main uh, article here. Again, it's very short compared to what the false widow stories were. So, invasion of killer spiders from the US. Are you ready for this, guys? Okay, then. Black Widow's Fears. Deadly Black Widow spiders are invading Britain, and it's only a matter of time before they kill, said an, an, some kind of expert specialist who remains anonymous. His name isn't given. Um, the lethal creatures are arriving on boats from the US. The spiders, far more dangerous than their cousin, the false widow, have been spotted by wood experts several times here. Here, could be anywhere I suppose, but um, I presume they mean in uh, Middlesbrough, as I'll get to. So um, Mr Skinner, who is the director of uh, ecology specialist Natu Naturally Wild at Middlesbrough, I presume that's where these sightings are supposedly. Um, he warned us now the Black Widows have came in this year. They managed to survive on shipments from the States. On two occasions it was just a single one, but on another we had six Black Widows coming together. We had one batch um, st that was stuck underneath the camper van from Arizona. The notorious beasts are North America's most venomous spider and have killed humans. Um, yeah, applaud to, you know, big round of applause to the Daily Star. They use the word venomous. Maybe they've been watching my videos. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, they actually use the word venomous. So, you know, that's a curious point. I mean, they're still all dicks and it's still a complete bullshit story, but they're trying to kind of make it a bit more believable by at least getting the right words. Um, I'd be really impressed if they actually started using the scientific name. Um, that would be hilarious because they never write it. Um, if you're watching, Black uh, Widows are called Latrodectus. I will put that in the title, uh, you know, so your journalist can copy it and try and make it a bit more believable. Um, so yeah, um, hundreds of thousands of false widows have now taken hold across the country, terrifying Brits and causing serious bite injuries. Um, if you see my other videos, spiders aren't really causing fear. What's causing fear in Brits is that the world's best newspaper um, is sprouting bullshit and is telling it to the public and the public are of course getting worried because they think they're going to die if they look at one um, which of course is completely absurd um, and causing serious bite injuries well you know I think about that guys um, as I've said the bite from my false widow bread, a bit of swelling, nothing bad it won't cause the injury of uh, Rick um, Ricky Whitmore this guy here, if you haven't seen my false widow, uh, the first video I did, you should look at that. Um, that injury is hilarious, he could have had a good fall off his BMX to get that. Um, <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny. Okay then, so one victim was Ricky Whitmore. Um, so he's the idiot of Essex, who suffered a gruesome leg wound, which wasn't from a false widow bite. I can guarantee you that. Um, if the real Black Widows also take hold, experts fear there will be widespread deaths. No expert would ever say that. And I, I, I can absolutely uh, assure you, no expert would say, yeah, the loads of people are going to die in the next few months because of these spiders. It's ridiculous. Uh, no expert would ever say that. No, like I said, no hobbyist or anything would ever say that. Um, so Mr. Skinner said, this year we've had three call outs for Black Widows. We go and ID them and then get them to a specialist. The unnamed specialist, who has a dangerous wild animal license, keeps any dangerous breeds locked away in a secret bunker in Stoke. 
So, this expert, now if I knew an expert, I'd want to go to him for advice and, you know, ask him questions, but this guy wants to remain anonymous because obviously the Daily Star have just, you know, done their, got their imagination going and thought, let's just create this guy and, you know, he's an expert on these things apparently. But he doesn't want to give his name, which is ridiculous, you know. Um, and also locked away in his secret bunker. So this guy's built a big bunker somewhere, a secret bunker in the middle of Stoke, to house dangerous animals. You know, I would actually like to see a picture of this Daily Star. Um, it would be interesting. Um, complete, you know, bullshit, of course. Um, two seconds, guys. Okay. Still got four minutes left, so I, my camera kind of cuts out after so long. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at the moment, they haven't done any uh, latrodectus bites and people swelling up like balloons and dying and people's children eating them and dogs dying and having them run across the wall and lunge at them like something from arachnophobia. There's nothing like that yet, but I'll give that a few days. Like I said, I want to get this out there um, and up on the internet uh, tonight if I can, which is the date is Monday, October the 21st. Um, if I can get this up tonight, then in the media, if they do do anything, at least you will hopefully be armed and will know that these... The, you know what, guys? Treat Latrodectus. If, if you did happen to see a Latrodectus somehow, in chances of absolutely minute, if you did manage to see one, Treat it as a black widow. Um, don't scream, don't panic, don't think it's going to run at you. All you got to do is either A, just leave it alone. Like I said, I've got that one there, it's been up there for about, what, four days, five days, and it hasn't moved. Um, I chuck a little cricket in every now and again and it eats it, and it just does not bother me at all, because I know it's completely harmless. Um, if you can't leave it alone, then what you do is you get a glass and a piece of card or paper or something like that and you cup it, and you take it away from your house somewhere, don't throw it outside because it will just call back in. Um, take it away from your house, put it somewhere, you know, in some you know, in some bushes or some matter or whatever, and um, just forget about it. Um, it won't run at you and bite you and kill you, cause you to have amputations, forget how to walk, nothing like that. Like I said, this is America's, uh, North America's uh, most venomous um, uh, spider, and yeah, they you know, they are still, you know, nothing to worry about. Uh, they're all over the states and you don't see black widows in the paper over there going, oh, there's black widows on the loose. No, because everyone's, you know, used to them um, and they know what they're like. Um, so yeah, guys, um, like I said, uh, if you want to know what they look like, they're only a few centimetres in uh, length. They are, females are jet black and um, have like a red hourglass symbol. Um, I will put a link in the description to some pictures of Black Predictus and you can, if you have, would like to know a bit more about them, click the links below, you can see the pictures of them, information that will hopefully reassure you that um, any stories about these spiders that will happen in the news, and I can, I can almost guarantee they will be in the news in the next few days, I think, you know, they ran out of false widow stories, let's start on the Black Widow stories. You know, some idiot somewhere in the UK is going to find a Black Widow and is going to sell their story to the media and, you know, anger me. But if that happens, I will do another video for it. So, yeah, guys, um, hopefully you find it beneficial. I'd also say to you guys as well, if you are in the UK and would like to learn about um, spiders and other bugs and things, um, you should look at the bts.co.uk. They have a huge meeting in May. Um, and that's where I get this awesome t-shirt from um, and yeah if you're scared of spiders come and have a look it might actually help you to get over your fears a bit and see that they're not killers that these say so guys um, yeah that's this video done guys um, please share this about it would really help me in the sense of getting this word out there before the um, papers start to worry people um, which is going to happen uh, please leave a comment below anything you'd like to know ask away and I'll answer as soon as I can and uh, yeah guys, thank you very much and I will speak to you again very very soon. Take care guys.